Hi, good morning. My name is Angel Bowers and I'm the Children's Ministry Director for La Follette United Methodist Church. I'm so excited that you've decided to join us today for Children's Church. Today we're going to be talking about the same thing that we talked about in Children's Moment, but with a little twist. So, if you don't remember, we will be talking about the gifts that God has given us and how we can use them to glorify God. So before we start, I want to ask you a super important question. Are you ready? Okay. What is one of your favorite things to do? I so wish that I could hear your answers, but I bet you have the coolest hobbies ever. That is so awesome. So I want to tell you today that you can use that to do awesome things for God. We're going to start by reading a verse from 1 Corinthians. This is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses, sorry, yeah, verses 4 and 5. <laughs> There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. So this verse is telling us that God made you. Isn't that so cool? God also made everyone else, and He made everyone different. Everyone has special interests, special talents, and special skills that they're really good at. Now we're going to read another verse, Romans chapter 12, verses 4 through 6. This is a little long, but I promise it'll be worth it. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. I know that verse may be a little bit confusing, so I'm going to explain it to you. So, the church is one body. That means that everyone in the church is part of one big awesome thing. <laughs> and the church can't work if just one person is involved in it. So if one person was trying to preach, teach, lead worship, be the secretary, clean up, visit church members, and take donations, and make sure the church was running well, that person would have way too much to do. That would be so crazy. So that's why the church is, like this verse says, one body with many members. There are a lot of people in the church and everyone can do a different job. So if you're really good at teaching, you could be a teacher. And if you're good at preaching, then you could be the preacher. <laughs> if you're really happy to see people and to invite people in, maybe you could be a greeter. And if you're really good at singing or if you really like to just worship God, maybe you could be in the choir. Everyone in the church has a special role that they can play to make the church work. Because if everyone is working together, we can tell more people about God and we can do more things for God. Isn't that so cool? 